So here we have a big unboxing from the cubicle. Let's open it up. We got two Cubet logos apparently. So for the price of the GAN 13 Maglev UV coated edition, yes, that's pretty expensive. This is what you can get with it instead. So we have the Tornado V3 UV coated edition, the Pioneer one, Chi MP 3x3, Yushin Little Magic, Magnetic 3x3, the Chi M Pro, and the YJ MGC Evo 2. Let's get on with the first one. I've honestly been excited for this because when I first got my Tornado V3, the flagship edition, I immediately mained it, but things have changed since then, and I'm maining the Worm V9 now, so... Maybe this will get me to main the V3 again. Pretty much the same thing as the Tornado V3 without the stuff. Okay, I can immediately feel the <laughs> UV coating. Okay, yeah, I can immediately feel how dry this is. I mean... Obviously, it still needs to be set up. This is also the first time I've um, got a Maglev Tornado V3 because with the last one, I got a normal spring one because I said this. Who needs Maglev anyways? And I probably was still right about it because I don't feel that much of a difference with the Maglev in this cube. It feels a bit more glossy than before. So I got my Worm V9 and original Tornado V3 here. I think between the original Tornado V3 and the UV coated one, yeah, I can definitely feel the UV coated and like how it has more grip to it and I think compared to the Worm V9, like right now at least, I, I feel like it kind of feels pretty identical, although I did hear about how the coating was not particularly thick in comparison to the Worm V9's coating and the GAN 13's coating, which I actually don't have because I lost that one. I think I might, I might actually try to use this in my next competition considering um, I really didn't do that well with this cube when I took it to competition, so I might try this one. So now let's open up the Chi M Pro. So we just went from expensive Chi to cheap Chi. Yeah, this is literally just the freaking solution guy. I don't need this because I already know how to solve a Rubik's Cube and you can also just watch J Perm's tutorial on it. Oh my God, there's actually lube outside. Oh my god, it's actually quite fast and actually uh, pretty nice feeling. Kind of reminds me of an RS3M a bit. Gives me like this kind of feeling of an RS3M. Kind of sounds a little bit like it too, but also kind of a similar budget cube feeling. I might do a full review on this, I don't know. Okay, it can't corner cut right now. Yeah, but I think it might be affected by like settings, so let's take a look in the... Oh my god. Mechanism... Okay, it doesn't look like there's... I remember it said it had, like, enhanced core position, but it might be wrong on it. And we have this tensioning system in here. So it's kind of looks like the GTS 3 spring system, but you have the... Put it back to its default setting. Yeah, I can do turns pretty well on it. I think it's time to do a solve, I guess. I gave myself a really easy cross. Except I'm gonna have no idea what to do with the third piece, so let's just go. I messed up there, I did the wrong PLL. Yeah, now let's open the next key. The YJ MG. C Evo 2. <laughs> so we got the second version of the YJ MGC Evo. And we got the cube and the little box. Nice bag. It kind of actually looks like the GAN bag a little bit. And we got the screwdriver. 
do some first turns. Actually, what the f is this center cap design? Like, everything else looks pretty normal, but then the center cap is all, like, beveled like this. Like, wait, it's turning. Okay, it's kind of like a little bit of a sandy feeling. And I'm pretty sure that feeling's probably gonna go away when I lube it or something and set it up and do a bunch of stalls, but... Yeah, it's, um, not looking pretty good. Okay. It's a lot of catches, and I don't know if it's with the settings. And it's really, really fast and uncontrollable right now, so... I might need to lube it, because I am overshooting a lot right now. And, yeah, I'm also getting a lot of catches, too, so... Let's test corn cutting. Okay, can do 45, reverse. Okay, um, I'm pretty sure here it cannot, but... Yeah, so I'm pretty sure this is a corner cut that most cubes can't do. Like, I think right now, I'm gonna definitely need to do some setup and probably test it, but I honestly don't feel like this is gonna come at me, at least. Okay, so the next cube, we have the Chi MP 3x3. So, as you saw with the first two cubes earlier, we went from like really expensive chi cubes to the cheapest one and then now we're at the middle of the road chi cube so we got a setting tool that looks like a fish we have the cube here with a dumb box why is it so tightly packed in there and there's lube on the outside of it i got this because i wanted to get a tornado v2 but they discontinued the tornado v2 so i'm kind of sad about that so this is probably the closest i'll get to it despite it not feeling exactly like a tornado v2 but let's do some first turns yeah it actually kind of looks pretty nice and the turning it kind of reminds me of a gan cube a little bit and that's actually kind of what i wanted the tornado v3 to feel a little bit like and i maybe i should try to buy that tornado v2 that i found on ebay because i actually want to get a tornado v2 sorry corner cutting oh okay can't do that yeah corner cutting is is pretty okay i might just need to break it in and i'll, I'll probably actually try to set it up so i can see how well it goes and maybe if it actually performs really good i might use that for my second round of my competition assuming i actually break my pr average and single during the first round but yeah i actually kind of really like it at least like a, like a feel good cube at least like not like a seriously um good cube yet and now here we have two cube head logos and we have the yushin little magic um the magnetic one and I had a version of a Yushin Little Magic, the Magnetic before, a stickered one, but the magnets on that one, I think it was a Cubersome one, it was pretty weak, and I tried to get rid of the magnets so I could put it into a GAN Air, but the glue was too strong, and now it's kind of like halfway between magnetic and non-magnetic. Oh my god. What is with like cube manufacturers and, and over-lubing cubes? Oh, and they've also made it frosted too now. I thought it was gonna be like glossy plastic, but apparently now they made it with matte plastic, so. Let's do some turns. Okay, it actually feels pretty similar to my original Yushin Little Magic, and I guess with that, I actually wanna move all the pieces from this cube and the center caps, my other Little Magic, and give it black internals like the Chi MP and the Trinity V2 have, because I actually kinda like how it looks. Like it makes it stand out and the color's more vivid than the primary internals of the Tornado V3. So, I might do that. I honestly thought it was going to feel a little bit different than the original one, but it kind of feels pretty similar. I think that's pretty much it for this unboxing. I kind of want to main this one for, at least for now, um, over my V9 because I actually feel like I might perform a lot better on this cube and the fact that it's kind of like my original Tornado V3, uh, like actually UV coated, then I think I'm going to be happy with this for now. And for all of these cubes, I kind of want to set them up a bit and see how they would do in their full potential. I might do a little video, like not really a full review on this one, because obviously I reviewed the Tornado V3 already. And then I might try to make a review of these two cubes, the MGC Evo. Probably 50-50 on this one, I might do it. But I think for sure I might do a review on the GM. I think that's pretty much it. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.